Welcome, 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 welcome to the Ignite Thinker Podcast, Sam Sports edition of Why Wednesdays. And today's Why Wednesday, we're going to hit you off with something a little different. This one comes straight from the Ignite Thinker himself, Dennis Holmes. I want to give my special shout out to my guy BJ for letting me collab with him every Wednesday. But today, my Why Wednesday is Why is Dex De- De- Prescott not able to get paid? That is my Why Wednesday of today. I believe Dak Prescott should be paid just as the rest of the top of the pack. Maybe not the $35 million a year, but at least $30 million a year he should be getting paid. That is my belief on that. Yeah, I'm glad he's the only one that believes on that. I believe Dak should be paid. I mean, and, and talking to certain people and listening to certain people, like, yes, maybe I was judging too early. Yes, for the last two years, Dak did do his job. But $35, $30 million a year? Get, get, get out of here. But I'm going to tell you why, though. For the first two seasons, he was playing with De- with uh, Des Bryant. Des, as we know, Des Bryant was his number one wide receiver. But Des Bryant wasn't the same guy, you know. He was just good for his 50-50 balls. He had a lot of drops. He really wasn't making Dak look much better, is what I'm trying to say. Ezekiel Elliott did help out and make Dak look a lot better. And a lot of people say without Ezekiel Elliott, Dak Prescott ain't that good because of the six games Ezekiel Elliott was out, Dak Prescott didn't do as well as they thought. But here's my thing on it. I also think that Dak Prescott is better when he has a number one wide receiver. As you see, when they acquired Amari Cooper, Dak Prescott numbers went up, they started winning more, and they both made the Pro Bowl. So it's just proven that he needs a number one wide receiver to do what he needs to do. Not to mention, you also have other quarterbacks out there, such as a Kirk Cousins, such as a Matthew Stafford, who's getting paid $28 million a year, and they can't even make the playoffs. Whereas though Dak Prescott has had a winning season every year he's been in the league. Whereas though Dak Prescott has made the playoffs two out of the three years he's been in the NFL. Whereas though Dak Prescott has also won a playoff game since he's been in the NFL. Dak Prescott is a quarterback who should be getting paid $30 million a year. I think he should get 33, but I'm going to say he should be getting paid $30 million a year. Guaranteed. He's worth every penny. And right now, Dak Prescott is making about $800,000 a year. I'll let that sink in for you. Starting quarterback in the NFL does not have a losing record, and he's making about $800,000 a year. Let that sink in for you. I mean, but at the same time, you, know, you got to pitch your time in. I mean, you got to pitch your time in. Yeah, he's still on his contract. So, Cool. You still have your contract. So you gonna you gonna get paid something. I don't believe on thirty million dollars. I don't. I don't. I don't see a thirty million. I, I don't. I don't see it. I, uh, that's a stretch. I mean, I mean everybody else shit, shit out here getting paid. I mean, but thirty, thirty, thirty million a year. Thirty, thirty-two. I mean, Matthew Stafford. Like, I think Stafford sucks as well. Like, but Stafford has consistent numbers every year. So, that's Stafford at twenty-eight. Put him at twenty-eight. How wrong could you do? I mean, what what's really going to happen? People like, oh, Dak Prescott. He's just middle of the pack. I mean, I'm hearing this from Cowboy fans, and I'm an Eagles fan. And I'm saying, no, he deserved to get paid. He just middle of the pack. He ain't really that good. He has to throw the ball deep downfield that good. Soon as he got Amari Cooper, deep ball throwing, getting better, throwing more than three touchdowns a game. Soon as he got a number one wide receiver. When he had Des Bryant his first year, Terrence Williams, he had an agent Des Bryant that this wasn't the same guy. He had an agent Jason Witten. He had Measley Beasley. So it's just that he needed somebody out there that was going to help him get better. And you could see from the first game Amari Cooper got there that Amari Cooper wasn't filling the play call from Jason Garrett. That's not even going to the play call from Jason Garrett. That's even worse of a situation. Like, come on, man, this boy defeating all the odds here, being the third-round pick and everything. 
But at the end of the day, in the words of the one of the greatest NFL players of all time, my guy, primetime Deion Sanders, pay that man. And yeah, so who, what, when, where, why Wednesday? You think Dak should get paid? What should Dak get paid? When should Dak get paid? And how much should Dak really get paid? Dak, we are talking about Dak Prescott, Cowboys starting quarterback. Um, reminder, uh, Tuesday Top 5 is um, a new segment on Sam Sports. So now we have the, you know, youth football on Mondays. Um, top 5 Tuesdays, Tuesday Top 5, however you want to word it. Wild Wednesday, Fantasy Friday. Um, in the locker room, you can check out the uh, team of the day um, inbox for a link of that. I can send that directly to you. Um, don't forget to check out the Ignite Thinking Podcast. Say it again, Dennis. What is it called? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ignite Thinking Podcast, Sam Sports.